God! It's a terrific, terrific Tuesday. Tuesday! And let's all please stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. I'm Jameson. And I'm Namia. Here for clubs and activity announcements. Daily what you announce. Hi, I'm Myra. And I'm Allie. And we're here with our daily video announcements. Lost and Found is gone tomorrow. That's Wednesday, October 25th. Get your stuff. All unclaimed items will be donated to a local charity at the end of this week. Cheerleading tryouts are this week. The clinic is tomorrow. That's again Wednesday, October 25th from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. in the Junior High Main Gym. Tryouts are the next day, this Thursday, October 26th at 3.30 p.m. This Thursday is the end of our first quarter. Study, learn, turn in your work, and keep your grades up. This Friday, October 27th, is no school for students. It's a personal learning day and a records day for teachers. Have fun working teachers without us students here. Mark your calendars. Remember, Halloween. Next week is Halloween week. We get to wear safe, fun, PBIS, non-disruptive, and school-appropriate Halloween costumes on Tuesday, October 31st. Have fun and be safely creative to enjoy the day. No masks, dangerous weapons, or dangerous toy items will be permitted. Just think, people. Don't get suspended for making a bad choice on a fun day. Be PBIS responsible. Also happening on Halloween Day is our last chance to order our junior high yearbooks at a discounted price. The 2024 SJH yearbook is on sale now for $32 a copy. Purchase today for the lowest price of the year. The price will increase to $35 on October 31st, 2023. The day after Halloween on November 1st, bring your Halloween candy to school to donate for Treats for Troops. November 1st is also the community open house from 6 to 8 p.m. November 3rd, our report cards will be posted. November 7th, the very new Sycamore Junior High Dance Team. The clinic, where you'll learn a dance for the audition, will be Tuesday, November 7th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the choir room. And auditions will be held the next day, Wednesday, November 8th at 6 p.m. in the choir room as well. Wrestling. Wrestling starts November 13th. Anybody can join and there are no cuts. You would wrestle people your own size and you don't need any prior experience. If you are interested, sign up on final forms or ask Coach Foley how to get started. November 10th, we have no school again for family conferences. Yes, another four-day week. Now over to our Athletes of the Week. Good afternoon, Sycamore. We're the 2023 gold tennis team GNC champs. The girls' gold tennis team went undefeated during the conference season and had an overall record of 10-1. During GAMC's first, second, and third singles all won first place, first doubles won second place, and second doubles won third place. We put in great effort to beat Mason and win GMC's for the first time in nine years. Everyone had a great season and put in lots of hard work and dedication. Hello, Sycamore. We are the 7th grade cross-country GMC champions. We are so proud of what our cross-country team has accomplished during the season. Everybody worked so hard and improved a lot. During the regular meets, the 7th grade girls team had a record of 4th place at 1 meet, 3rd place at 1 meet, 2nd place at 3 meets, and 1st place at our home meet in Summit Park. We finished the season winning the GMC finals and we brought home the GMC trophy for the first time in 23 years. We had 4 top 10 finishers for our team, placing in 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 8th. <laughs> Sycamore, we are the 8th grade volleyball GMC champs. <laughs> Tuesday, October 10th was a truly unforgettable night. Sycamore versus Mason Green in the semifinals. Despite how nervous I was, I believed in our team. In the first hard-fought set, we lost 22-25. After the first set, Coach Tigers didn't give up on us, and we didn't give up on ourselves either. After an encouraging pep talk, we were ready to dominate the second set and take it to three. The second set was down to the wire, point after point, but we fought to victory with an incredible score of 26-24 in overtime. By the third set, we were all tired and worn out, but regardless, we were unstoppable. It came down to which team wanted it more. We played point after point, going into overtime again. The final score was 27-25 with Sycamore's victory. The fight was over and we had won. Sycamore was moving into the finals. 
Fast forward a couple days, it's Thursday, and now we are in the finals playing Mason White. This is a lot of pressure because we lost them three in the regular season. We knew it would be tough, but we all know that we would, they were beatable. The, we had our seventh grade team there, as well as our reoccurring hype squad and several supportive students. In the seventh grade championship, we saw Mason White 7 get taken down by planes, and that gave us a good step to start. We had a chat before the game, and we were all super hype and super energetic. We all knew that we needed to do it for ourselves, the other coaches, and Mr. Vellani. We started this ga game on a loss in the first set, 11-25. We were reminded that when we played Mason Green in the semis, we lost the first set too, and we ended up beating them. We went out with serve, and we played our game. We won the second set, 25-20, and we were on a super high note, we, knowing we had just won the previous set. We knew that we had to finish this, and we took an early lead. We played our volleyball, and we ended up winning the third set, and we were champions. We were GMC champs and took out both Mason teams in the process to win for the first time in 25 years. Wow, congratulations to all our GMC champions. Way to represent our school. Birthdays! Happy birthday to Margaret R. We hope you have an amazing birthday. That's all we have for our clubs and activities today. Now back to Nami and Jameson. Now to Kendall and Sophia for the joke of the day. Hi, I'm Sophia and I'm here with Kendall and we're here for the joke of the day. What do you call a small pepper in late autumn? I don't know what. A little chili. <laughs> <laughs> chilly in here. So that's all we have for today. Enjoy a special day. Be a PBIS accreditation and be a great person and go Ace!